Thank you. Uh, so okay. let's now move to the last but not least presentation in the session comes from uh, Mr. Paolo Sambianchi, who will give us uh, his view on the subject uh, safety builders, our safety leadership development program. He will share with us the development of a model of uh, leadership in health and safety that triggers a strong commitment in project management team in order to avoid work-related incidents. Activated engagement dynamics on health and safety throughout the project organization. Uh, and as a health and safety executive culture project and training coordinator in we build he is uh, in charge of a few project of new projects in terms of health and safety e executive including innovative and new technologies developing culture and coordinating training activities the most important activities are focused on company safety leadership development program called safety builders acting as coordinator and senior facilitator of the program focused on reaching zero accidents or better, let his colleagues go back home healthier than they came to work, get the maximum benefit from their work, taking care of environment. This is the vision he had in the last 22 years of experience in construction, oil and gas and industry sector, acting during these years as a trainer, safety officer, and safety specialist. He is uh, promoting healthy and safe way of living as uh, an ambassador of an Italian safety culture movement and as a self-development uh, trainer. Dear Paolo, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Georgios, if I pronounce it right, perfect. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So. Thank you for this presentation. Thank you for this opportunity of being here. Thank you also uh, to my company, We Build, and also to Alex Spiridonis, that uh, is uh, an HNC manager of, of ours in our project in Umla Fina. Uh, so, as uh, you mentioned, it, I've got a vision. I want to see my colleagues be healthier due to their job. That's my vision. That's I. I spend how I spend my energies in coordinating uh, HNC training, innovation, and uh, culture in WeBuild. And uh, let me say that I'm really proud to be here. I thanks also Mr. Panopoulos because uh, as Italian, it's marvelous to me to be in a Greek event talking about culture. It's very an amazing opportunity inside the Greek Agora. I can talk about uh, culture. Uh, why I'm here? I'm here to talk about an emotional transformational program, highly effective and truly innovative. That's what is safety builder about. Why this program? Why me? Let me tell you a little story about emotional transformation. It was nine years ago. I was in my office in my previous company looking for technical video. In that moment of my life, uh, I thought that technical training uh, was the solution, was the way to change the behavior of people, was the way to let people go home safely. That was my vision. And I thought that technical training was enough to this. Then uh, I started to use videos but in that occasion, I started to see a video with an unexpected content. Instead of a technical one, I started to see this video. In this video, there are two men talking to each other inside an office. And one tells the other that he had received another fine for speeding. The other smiles and tells that it doesn't happen to him anymore because he knew exactly where all the speed cameras are. I felt immediately like him, because in that moment of my life, I always knew all the speed cameras were, where all the speed cameras were. Then these two gentlemen went out from the office and the scene changed. And we see two children, a smaller one, a little girl, and an older one, a boy. 
And the boys tell the little girl, they are late, they need to hurry up because maybe dad is already arrived. They are into a school and they start to went outside. Then the scene changes again and we see a young girl talking with her friends. But then she takes a look on the clock and she realizes that it's late. So she gets in the car and skids away. Then the last scene, we see a school, we see a car in front of the school on the other side of the road with the gentleman, the one from the beginning, the one who knew where all the speed cameras are, seated in his car. And then we see the two children. The little girl saw this gentleman and said, oh, daddy is really already arrived. So she starts running towards her dad. She needs to, she need to cross the road. And she did it without looking. At the moment, the late girl's car is arriving. She is driving fast. And so she doesn't, doesn't even have time to break. And she eats the child. In that real moment, I felt the pain of losing a child. But also, maybe for the first time in my life, I felt the responsibility of being someone who can kill someone's child. Believe me that that night I drove home very slowly. But then I need to confess, in a month I was back to my bad behavior of speeding. It was like... Uh, the memory of that video was closed into a box with a written on it, just slow down. That is the name of the video. And that box was closed inside my brain at the bottom of everything else. And maybe it will never come back if uh, someone or something hadn't called him back. But a few days later, I went uh, to America for a few days for work. I was on this four-lane road, and uh, in a moment, for small road works, they lowered the limit from 180 kilometers per hour. Come on, come on. It seems to me ridiculous, even 100 kilometers, and now 80. So I got angry, and I pushed on the accelerator. I started to pass someone on the right, and then I can saw a picture. It was not a road sign. It was just a picture with a written on it. In, on that picture, there are children. And the written said, my daddy works here. Please slow down. Slow down. That was immediately reactivated the, the memory of that video, making me relive the experience. But this time, it is stronger, let me say. Because, first of all, I identified myself as the girl. And of course, there's nothing I can do, no matter how good I was in driving, if someone will shift from his lane to mine, or if a tire explodes. I hadn't checked tire's condition before I leave with a rental car. But then also, I realized that um, if I invest one of these, these workers, and between me and them, there are only road cones, they won't be able to go home to their children tonight. And since I recently became a dad for the second time in that moment, I think about how my children and my wife would have felt if I hadn't come home. And from that real moment, I have completely, deeply changed my way of driving, believe me. My wife can confirm. The good news is uh, I didn't, uh, it was not necessary to kill someone. There was no tragedy. It was just fiction. It was just a video. It was just a sign, a picture. Psychologists call it corrective emotional experience, and it was, believe me. And fortunately, there was no tragedy, as I said. So the people can change their behavior, maybe with, with some things. And with the Safety Vitas program and the presentation I'm going to share with you, we can see 
uh, a little bit these tips. First of all, I will share my presentation. I hope it works. It's always, uh, it can be always a technical issue, but it works right now, I think. Okay, let me set the presentation mode. Perfect, okay. As I said, I love videos. I, 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 I'm always used to use video in, uh, in my presentation, in my training. And uh, so I decided to use a video in order to um, describe uh, our 2020. The 2020 of my company, but maybe the 2020 of many people, I think. This is our 2020. Think about it. This year, we sought answers to questions like never before. How to change the way we live. How to meet each other. Where to exchange ideas. At times, we simply dreamed of being elsewhere. During this extraordinary year, when everything seemed to come to a halt, we kept on moving and growing becoming bigger and stronger, all the while ensuring the health and safety of our men and women. We searched for ways to move faster and more safely, making mobility even more sustainable. We shortened distances, bringing remote places closer together. We strengthen our commitment to adopt innovative technologies to produce clean energy and make water cleaner and available to everyone. During this extraordinary year, we kept our pledge to improve the lives of millions of people all over the world. search for new challenges, we found ourselves with a new identity and a new idea for a sustainable future, all together. Why we decided to implement this program? It's simple, because we believe in safety. I strongly believe in our ability and the leadership style we have shown over the years to carry off the most complex challenges in the world. I would like our new culture of safety to permeate our entire community. So that's our group is acknowledged as a global leader for the safety of its men and women. These are the words of Mr. Pietro Salini, our CEO. And these are our performance. Six consecutive years of decreasing number of injuries, 25% less accidents rate versus 2018, more than 154,000 hours of HMS training just for the direct personnel. Training that is a part of what we called value, our health and safety way that won in 2019 the Silver Award by ROSPA, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accident, and the Gold Award in 2020. And we are really proud of this. Value, it's a merge of two words, value and you. And uh, it's also a merge of many different things, uh, not only training, uh, but from communication campaign to life saving rules, uh, from uh, innovation technology in safety, to celebration and contests about safety, from events with theatrical pieces to Safety Builders program. It is a very important asset of our value program. The Safety Builder program has too many objectives, like uh, Gergos mentioned before. We want, we aim to develop a model of leadership in h and that triggers a strong commitment in project management team in order to avoid work-related incidents. Starting from the real top of the company, then the, the, the management of the branch, if there is, and then the top managers of that specific project. And also to activate an engagement dynamics on health and safety throughout the project organization. How? With many different tools. 
The main are engaging and highly interactive workshops, communication and training sessions, a strong video message from the CEO. And also in that message, the CEO said that everyone is allowed to intervene. It's what we call uh, an intervention mandate. Uh, it's like, sometimes I joke, it's like the license to kill of 007, James Bond. In this case, it's the license to save someone's life. Because uh, if you are allowed to intervene, of course, you can do something. But how? There is a safety intervention tool, what we call SAFER that is a very powerful training in order to better understand why it's important always to intervene, how to intervene in unsafe and safe behavior. Talking about uh, positive reinforcement like Bill Sims talked uh, about uh, in yesterday. And also a film with an intense and emotional impact. Why a film? Because uh, when you see a drama, you can easily enter inside what is called perceived mode. What does it mean? If you see a deep truth inside that story, you start to be engaged with that story. You start to empathize with the characters. You start to suspend your judgment and lose your intellectual barrier. And the, if the characters are so close to yours and the roles of your colleagues, and if the story is so close to yours, and if you see that film with uh, all your colleagues around you, with the same feeling uh, in a growing thrill atmosphere, magic happens. Magic happens, thanks to emotions. I will uh, let you see the trailer of our film, so maybe you can get some of what I said right now. This is the trailer of our film. The folks at the building site were there making a big long tunnel under the very high mountain. To make the hole in the tunnel, they use a big drill and also explosives. It is quite dangerous, but Papa says that the builders are very careful and have special clothes to protect them. We're blasting out the space. You worked tunnels before? They rip us up. The authority will shut us down. But if we finish those walls before the rain hits... We're using materials faster than we can move them. If you can spare a forklift, that'd be good. I need to borrow Stefan and his forklift to work at the shop. Just slow us down. Just find a way. When I grow up, I want to work on a building site with my dad. We are going to build the tallest building in the world. Even if I saw it many, many, many times, believe me, I have goose span as well. Because as you, as you saw, it's a very effective film where emotion are really embedded in it. This is a structure on how we use uh, the tools I mentioned before. There are workshops, there are role play training. We involve managers, senior managers, supervisor, foreman, and also all the workers inside the project. The first three tools are very useful in order to trigger the commitment and engage dynamics. We start to implement the program with the tool number one, and then along the way, we start to use the other tools. But also, when we start with the tool number one, we also start with the tool number four. That is a very important part. What happened when we start the program in a project? Usually the participants start to do something new or much more, something more about safety. Right now we had 126 workshops from Australia and Middle East to Europe and South America with more than 2,000 people involved, manager and supervisor, and more than 10,000 hours in four years of implementation. And let me say in the last two years, was mainly online and the activity was not so much. For example, <coughs> excuse me, in Umla Fina project, um, uh, the project in which uh, my colleagues Alexandros Spiridonis is the agency manager, they 
started to implement a few months ago the program, but they already have a very good lagging performance, zero LTI. But what happened after they started to implement the program? They saw an increasing in number of uh, training hours, in number of JSA, in number of toolbox talk, in number of safety walk and inspection, hazard observation drills, improvement notice. And you can say, okay, nothing is disruptive, disruptive in itself, nothing so effective, stand alone. Yes, absolutely, it's true. The secret was the consistency. This is the magic word. After we start with the program, the cascading effect especially produce a, new, a huge number of single behaviors that change the project. Simon Sinek made this example. If you want to prevent uh, a teeth disease, a caries, for example, it's useless if you brush your teeth once a week for a couple of hours. But if you brush your teeth every day for just two minutes, maybe a couple of times, you can trust on preventing teeth disease and caries. That's what we want to have, single behavior always every day, starting from the top managers to every single formal leader or informal leader of the organization. And what happened when the people start to see that uh, the managers, the leaders start to do regularly thinking about safety? They start to do the same without even thinking about it. And that's what we want to have, an invisible safety. As uh, Giorgio said, uh, uh, he don't like uh, safety first expression, safety first motto. Me too. I prefer, as Paul O'Neill said, uh, is a precondition. Absolutely. We want to have an invisible safety. And we stress out this concept in this very last video. And then let me do a final greeting after this video. <laughs> Everything. There are fundamental but invisible elements. is life. Value our health and safety way. It's all about that. Safety is life. In the video, we saw some, uh, some trees that we planted in the Stavros Niarchos Foundation Cultural Center that is in Athens. And uh, I choose a proverb to close my speech and many people say it's a Greek proverb, many others not, but who cares? It's a marvelous uh, proverb. A, so a society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. That's uh, our vision. That's the vision of my colleagues, uh, Maria Grazia, Michele, and uh, Andrea, and of course of everyone inside the company. So. Just uh, start to do something. Just uh, start to, to plant a safe tree, maybe. It can be. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Paolo, for the interesting and emotional presentation. I think that uh, 
your vision as you stated that your CV let his colleague colleagues go back home healthier than they came to work, gets the maximum benefits from their work, taking care of the environment. This is the target. This is the holistic approach uh, in a simple um, word and expression. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, presentation. So uh, we have um, a few questions. Uh, I will. Uh, we have time, so we can move to the questions. Um, so. Um, The first question uh, is a couple of questions, uh, and uh, Dr. Panopoulos, uh, the okay. George, I think I see the question, so I you can. See. All right, George. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I see the question, so I read the question and answer. Before, right. before that, Paolo, mille grazie. Oh. Super. Please tell me when is your next uh, presentation to come and join and attend. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All the best. So the All first the question is the, about the internal communication.